Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony X O. Welcome to 2022, you guys. I'm super stoked about 2022. I'm hoping that it's a very exciting year. Um, and wish everyone a great 2022. I'm so excited. So few new changes on my channel but if you're new to my channel hello my name is Michelle we would love to have you part of our Lashes Tony XO family just hit that subscri subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I post a video which my new schedule is just at least three videos a week no set day no set time so make sure to hit that notification bell and you'll be notified so really excited about that but today's video is going to be my first haul of 2022 so i'm excited uh you guys know i love makeup i love trying new makeup um so let's just get into this i'm really excited a lot of these products um i got like right before christmas and i just haven't used them yet or i got them right after christmas during a sale or something so I just wanted to go over these things with you guys and I think this year on my channel I would like to do kind of a speed review so maybe um, after I play with these things for about a month or so I'll come back and give you like some speed reviews if you guys are interested in something like that let me know in the comments so yeah let's just get started my grandmother's randomly watching Dr. Phil and the there was an advertisement for number seven um skincare and uh you guys know i love their pressed powder um but i've never used their skincare before so i picked up a few things uh let's start with that so the first thing i was very interested in trying was the number seven restore and renew younger looking skin in two weeks you guys we will test that out i will let you guys know this is a face and neck serum i'm starting to have neck problems <laughs> you know when you're in your late 40s and you're just like okay things are starting to not be as firm as they used to be so this is a face and neck uh, serum like I said and I'm really excited it says face feel feels firmer wrinkles are visibly reduced and skin tone is more even neck feels firmer looks visibly smoother and less crepey I'm all about that life and it also says for sensitive skin so this is a fluid ounce of product I have not tried it yet and the packaging is really pretty it's like this pink and silver so i am going to start using this and at the end of the month i will come back on here and do a speed review and let you guys know if, it, if it's worth the money because this is some pricey shit okay <laughs> i mean for drugstore i'm not even joking um the for all the about three so it was a hundred bucks for three products from the drugstore a hundred bucks okay so i'm just letting you know i will test it out for you guys and give you like a little mini review but again i'm super excited about it um oh okay so this has a little it's like a little clear i don't know if my camera's gonna focus um let's see what it has a slight scent to it but i'm trying to pick like pinpoint the scent um it smells i mean it's a very very faint smell so i don't think it would be offensive or anything like that so anyway i would probably use this i assume it's am and pm it just because it says face and neck serum but let me check because i do want to start using this um like i said and let you guys know for best results, use morning and evening. Smooth onto your face and neck after cleansing. Then moisturize with the Restore and Renew Day or Night Cream, which I did buy, I think. They have the day version and I bought the night version. 
but you can you use all these products together so um i'm excited to use this so this would be like a, a step one because it is a very lightweight serum and you just rub it like upwards all of your neck this is a nighttime um cream and they also had a day cream but i was like i'm more likely probably i'm not really sure i'm more likely maybe to use the night cream more than i would the day cream okay so this is thicker obviously it's more like a moisturizer so i would probably use this instead of a moisturizer to be honest with you again this one This one doesn't, I don't feel like it has any scent whatsoever, but it is a very, very moisturizing, thicker product. And it looks like that. So, I'm excited. I love the packaging. Everything's pink and silver. Super pretty. And again, this is just going to be a nighttime for, again, my face and neck, which I'm more worried about my neck. But face and neck. Um, so, yeah. These two, I'm excited. Now this one, I'm not really sure what it is. It just popped, popped up, and I was like, I kind of want that in my life. So let me show you. All right, so this is what it is. It's the number seven laboratory, Laboratories Firming Booster Serum. Sound amazing. And then it also has these little balls on it. Um, so I was like, ooh, that looks like it would like really work. I don't know, we'll see. This is, ooh, firmer skin in one week. Okay, I like that. Faster results. This is a super concentrate um, booster serum. So, so skin looks visibly firmer in one freaking week. Hell yeah, all about that life. Okay, so this is a one fluid ounce um, thing. Let me see how to open this. Oh, you twist, okay. So, it has a little twister, so you put it where it says on, and then off. So, basically, the product is going to come out this little hole right here, and I guess you would like, oh, that feels good. You would just go up and kind of tighten where you want to tighten. So, that sounds like an amazing product, so I'm really excited. To, this is the one I'm probably most excited about. The one they showed on Dr. Phil was this one. So, but I'm, I'm excited to try all. They had another one. They had lots of different ones, but um, I was like, let me just start with these and see um, how it goes. So, for best results, apply, apply AM and PM. Shake firmly. I will definitely let you know in a month um, how all the skincare works and let you know if I feel like everything's a little bit firmer up here so very excited about to use the skincare i think i'm going to use it tonight i'll keep you posted on my results and if you hear some noises in the background Boo's allergies are really bad right now and she has to go to the vet because she's very itchy and yeah she's scratching all over the place right now so that's what that noise is i know a lot of people always ask me what that noise is in the background it's usually boo um, I also picked up this perfume, which if you look in the background, I did get some perfume for Christmas. So, I got, excuse me, I got the brand new Ariana Grande REM perfume. It kind of looks space age, I guess. So, I got that set for my son, my oldest son and his wife. And then I got a Skylar candle and a Skylar perfume in fall cashmere the candle is in vanilla sky and then i also since the my husband got me that stuff and since the um candle was uh vanilla sky i had to have the perfume the candle smells so freaking delicious so i wanted to try the vanilla sky it is if you like vanilla and you like a very musky vanilla scent oh my gosh this smells so delicious so it says it has, let me see, the notes are caramel, caramelized cedar, pure vanilla, and cappuccino. Um, this is safe for sensitive skin. It's hyperallergenic and eco-friendly. So this is a clean beauty brand. It's vegan. 
um, and I'm just super stoked about it. It is probably my favorite scent. Um, I did get a sampler of this for Christmas as well. There's like a bunch of different scents on there, but this one I think is my favorite. So I ordered the um, large bottle, and my husband got me the fall cashmere one. Um, but this one to me smells the best. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's a Skylar, and then there's the, the packaging. It has a sky on it, but my dog's probably going to bark at me for spraying this, but... Oh my god, it smells so good. I wish you guys had smell vision Highly recommend the Vanilla Skies. If you just try one Skylar product, get the Vanilla Skies. Either the candle or the perfume or both. They're from Sephora. I will link all the products that I'm showing you guys. The skincare was from Target. This is from Sephora. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, I just want to say something random. I always get questions about this. My own family always asks me this. Like, why do you turn your straw upside down when you drink it? Because I can, number one. And number two, because that's just the way I like to do it. Um, I don't know why, to be honest with you. But I guess because it's just easier to take in and out. And you don't have to take the top off. That's my excuse. But I, I have. you won't believe how many people ask me that random question like why do you use why do you use your straw upside down i don't know i just freaking do this was on sale this is the Too faced hangover rx pillow bomb set you guys know i have a full size pillow bomb in banana and i love this stuff so so much uh, this is a little mini one, and you get four different ones. Now, I may hold on to this and put it in a Shop My Stash giveaway or something like that. But I just couldn't, I couldn't resist the, <laughs> price was basically half off. So, I was like, okay, I recommend this. I would give it to you guys, or I could keep it for myself. So, I just went ahead and picked it up. Great value. So, we may, that's why I'm not going to open it. We may give this away in a, in a, Future shop mustache. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Now, this is in the new one, and I believe what makes it new is the color. So it's in Cosmic Black, which is supposed to be like the blackest black. So, like black lashes, which is my preference. I want my lashes to be seen. So, I really want to try this. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think. Um, at first, I was like, wait a minute. That must be a new, like, waterproof formula because the packaging was black. And I was like, wait, the other packaging, the one I like is pink. And I was like, what? I'm confused. And then I saw where, no, this is brand new launch. It is just a different, like, a, a darker, blacker color in cosmic black. And I was like, yes, please. You've sold me. So I picked this up. I'm ready to try it. Maybe. And if you guys want me to do, um, get ready using these products. If not, like I said, I will definitely have a, start having a review after I play around with my makeup or play around with my hauls. Then I will do a speed review and let you guys know how I feel about the products. I mean, that sounds awesome to me. Let me know what you think. Um, something I'm really excited about. My son got me this for Christmas. I had my eye on it. I had my finger on the button. I was a, I was going to order this no matter if I got this for Christmas or not. Because this was definitely on my wish list. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Biba Palette. So, I did pick this up. And I'm actually wearing it, wearing it today. And oh, if you have blue eyes or green eyes... You will love this, okay? Even brown eyes, but I just feel like light colored eyes are really going to stand out with this palette. I said with this palette. Okay. Cray cray. With this palette, look. Very, very warm colors. Now, this one over here has a little more purple. It doesn't look like it in the pan, but it's a little bit more purpley. That's why I feel like if you have green eyes, you would really like this. But there's just a lot of warmth in this palette. And like I said, my favorite eyeshadows to wear are warm 
shadows just because I feel like it really pulls out the blue in my eyes. Um, like sometimes when I wear other shades, people don't notice I have blue eyes. Um, but when I wear colors like this, they're like, wow, your blue eyes are popping. I'm like, yes, it's because of the colors. So I really wanted this palette. You guys know I collect the little minis anyway. I have a lot of them. But this one, if you want to see like a look, uh, like a two-in-one look or something, or just a look, let me know in the comments and I can do this and then we can try out this mascara and all that good stuff because I'm really excited about this palette. It's so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so I also picked up a large Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I needed a new one. My mini one is now in um, my project pan for 2022 if you haven't seen it i will link it down below that may go up before this i'm not really sure how i'm gonna put this in order but i got a little bit darker color than i did before um this is 2.5 no i guess i didn't <laughs> i thought i did no i didn't this is 2.2.2.5 point, 2 .2 fair so maybe um i thought i did but i guess the color must have been sold out or something because I was going to go up a, up a color, not size. I was about to say size. Um, well, I can't open it. So, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so I have been wearing this just as a foundation, which sounds like what? But yeah, my skin has been kind of dry lately. So, what I've been doing is using my... Okay, this one is lighter. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, I'm so confused. Okay, so what color is this one then? This one's too fair, and this one's 2.5. Okay, so this one is darker. I thought I got a darker one. Anyway, this one's in my project pan. I'm trying, I'm almost done with that one. So, but this one, um, I'm excited because, I don't know why I'm smelling this, but <laughs> I'm excited because I've been using this as a foundation. And I put it like all over my face, but of course I like tap in a pore filler around my nose, put this all over the face, and then add concealer. And I just really like, I just really like it. So if you guys want to see me do, you know, show you guys how I do my foundation, I can totally do that video. I just really like the way it looks. If you have dry skin or older skin and you want more of a, I don't want to say moist look, but like more of a dewy fresh like um i'm not a crypt keeper type of look then try that it's it's really nice okay i did get some new foundations serum foundations i just picked this mini one up because i have so many foundations i'm about to do a foundation declutter um and i think i'm gonna split it into two parts because yeah i have that many foundations so it's gonna be a two-parter um, but this is the Tarte, um, let me get my glasses so I can make sure I'm saying all this right. The Tarte, uh, Maracuja, Maracuja Tinted Hydrator, um, and I like what it says on the side. That, this is the word I should have used. Ju juicy skin is in. Um, so yeah, juicy was the word I was, I said moist, moist. No, juicy if you want your skin to look a little juicy and you're older, um, this right here is a really good, like, foundation. Um, I don't know, I've just been really loving it, but this I want to try. This is a, like I said, a tinted moisturizer, um, and it's supposed to be dewy, and this is 20 in light neutral, so... It's a little itty bitty baby. Okay, here's a full size product. Here's a baby product. So, itty bitty baby. Maybe I could even put this in a in um, my project pan 2022. My goal in this year is to finish 22 22 items this year by the end of the year. Finish 22 products. So, maybe that could be one of them since it is a baby. But I do have another one in the back of my mind that I'm thinking I'm going to use. Um, okay, I picked up another Lancome Booster. You guys know, like, I can't live without this. This is my favorite primer. I use it 
every single time I wear mascara. It's my jam. I have to have it in my life. I think I picked it up on sale. I'm not really sure. Um, and then I also picked up a new Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer. Um, yeah. I This has kind of like been my jam. Because um, this is like so full coverage. And this is really dewy. Putting these together makes a really nice foundation. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I do that, let me know in the comments. But I picked up um, light beige because I wanted a more of a, um, instead of a concealer, I wanted more of a foundation color. So I got light beige in that. Um, and then I also picked up another foundation. This is by The Ordinary. This is the serum foundation. It's just a lightweight serum foundation. I got light neutral. It looks like this. And um, just like a little plastic bottle. So, yeah, very, this is very liquidy. And this one is a little bit more moussey, a little bit more thicker. Also picked up a Buxom lip gloss. Uh, I'm not a huge lip gloss wearer, but I do like to put to pop a little bit of gloss every now and then, especially during filming. Now I'm not gonna go out and wear gloss because it's gonna get in my hair when the wind blows, or if I'm wearing a mask or something. You know, I, it's just a pain in the butt. But filming, I do think uh, lip gloss looks really pretty, and so I picked up the Buxom lip gloss in the color blushing margarita sounded oh just about popped the nail off okay um blushing margarita so i have not looked at this yet but here's the packaging and let's see this is full-on plumping lip cream let's see Let's put a little, let's just put a little, a little bead on here. So this has just a slight pink, which I've really been into lately. So yeah, I like to just put a little bit of gloss sometimes in the center of my lip. I just, I just feel like on TV it looks really nice. TV on youtube on camera it looks really nice sorry i watch youtube on tv so i don't know that's i'm sure everybody don't most people probably watch it on their phone but i watch i like to watch youtube on my tv okay so i did have points perk la, points perk perk points points perk you guys know what i'm saying from sephora and i got this joe malone perfume and i was like oh yeah i've always wanted to try Joe Malone, so fancy and stick my little pinky out when I wear this. Um, so this is called this is wood, sage, and sea salt. Oh, that sounds good. Mm, that, mm, that smells really nice. Um, Joe Malone, woods, no, wood sage and sea salt mm. so that was worth the points right there i think that was like 250 but it was worth it that's everything i picked up for the first haul of 2022 i will say i am going to pick up the charlotte tilbury foundation the brand new one it is calling me it has my attention I just really want to pick it up. Um, I think it comes out today. If not today, tomorrow. And Mama will be buying, buying it, okay? So, I think I matched my shade already. And it said I was cool six, I think. So, I already have it in my cart. I'm ready to pick it up. I'll let you guys know. If you want to see a review or something on it, let me know in the comment. And also, would you like what I said as far as every time I do a haul this year in 2022 i will play with it for a little while and at the end of the month i will do a speed review and explain hey this is how i feel about this is it worth the money is it not 
I'll let you guys know. Okay, have a good one. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.